Let me tell you right now, the number one reason people hate America, the number one reason is because of our religion. Americans worship money. We worship money. Separate God from school, separate God from work, separate God from government, but on your money it says, in God we trust. All my life I've been looking for God and he's right in my pocket. Americans worship money, and we all go to the same church, the church at ATM. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's a new branch popping up, reminding you about how much money you got or how much money you don't got. And if you got less than $20, the machine won't even talk to you. <laughs> the machine's like, you better go see a teller. You ever go to a teller and try to take out $8.50? Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, man, you got to wait on that long-ass line. People doing real transactions in front of you. You get up to the fucking front. You fill out your form, $8.50. The fucking teller looks at it. She look at you. She looks at the shit. She don't even take the money out the drawer. She take it out of her pocket. Here, get the fuck out of here. Thing, man. Drugs are illegal, but ATM machines are open 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. For who? Who the fuck is it open for? Have you ever taken out $300 at 4 o'clock in the morning for something positive? When you press that machine at 4 o'clock in the morning, I think a psychiatrist should pop up on the screen and go, come on, man. Save your money, man. Don't buy drugs, buy some rims. They spend it, nigga, they spend it. They spend it, nigga, they spend it. They spend it, nigga, they spend it. I don't know, man. I like older women. I'm, I'm into older women. They're not, you know. You know, not Wheezy Jefferson old. <laughs> Just older than me. Cause young girls are full of shit. <laughs> they like what they like. So I want them to be this tall, I want his hair to be like this, I want his eyes to be like this, I want to walk like this, talk like this, work here, all this bullshit that got nothing to do with hair and hair. Now you get an older woman, you get an older woman single, she's like, hey, I just want a man. <laughs> he got a dick and a job, I'm happy. <laughs> you know what, you know what else? Older women cook. Older women will cook cook you up some shit. All the women know the power of the pot. They will make you something. Young girl can't make nothing but reservations. All the women know the power of the pot. So they got all these shows on TV, Oprah and Sally Jesse and all this shit telling women how to get a man and all these books, how to get a man. Yo women, you wanna get a man? This is what you do. You put a pot on a stove. Every day at six o'clock, a man will show up to that pot. <laughs> Yo, fellas, am I lying? Hell no. A pot on a stove every day. Not once a week, not twice a week. Every fucking day at six o'clock, a man, men from miles around that you have never met will show up to that pot. But well, they got all this shit how to get a man. You dress like this and do your hair like this and walk like this and talk like this and sex this and sex that. Anybody can suck a dick. <laughs> but gravy's a whole nother story. Take 
take a sweet potato pie over a big ass any day. I will drop kick a girl for some banana pudding. Ice cold banana pudding, been sitting in the refrigerator all night. Get your ass. Out.